I was just wondering if you guys want to know a little bit of what we discussed today in the course. Have you ever pondered what the most important question really is? Well, I got to learn one. Where is the exit sign? That is a simple question that can save your life. A moderator of the course, he was like asking us, the first thing we did when we came into the hotel, what was it? The first thing was we were hurrying to find out where the course was taking place, obviously. And, um, and he was like, really? So the course is more important to you than your life, right? The first thing you get into a building, especially a building where you know that a lot of people are inside, like you have to think safety that's something that we most often don't do right so next time when you get into a building you go to an event you invite us somewhere that should be the first question after saying hi to whoever invited you capito capiche usually the way in is not necessarily the way out that was something really curious right have you ever thought about it the way into a building or the way into a concert, the way into a, into a festival is not usually the way out. Especially when we talk about uh, environments that are kind of closed up. So normally they make the entrance in such a way that it restricts people who are not permitted, who don't have like the, the tickets or anything to come in. But when we talk of evacuation, we want people to get out of that uh, environment as fast as possible. When we say as fast as possible, we are talking about 80 people in a minute. Do you know what that means? 80 people getting out of a, of a building in like under normal circumstances in one minute. So like that's how fast it should be. So generally when you get into a building, what you have to do to make sure that you get out safely in case of any emergency, what you do is so you find out where the exit signs are. That's the first thing that you find out. And uh, if you don't see one, you should ask whoever is organizing the event or you, yeah, you, or you ask the receptionist or anything. Like just check around, ask somebody where are the exit signs? And when you get into a building or whatever, this is what you have to look for, an exit sign. If you don't see one, ask. The second most important thing, do you know what that is? If you get out of the building, where do you go to, you know? When, when you get out of the building or you get out of the concert or get out of the event, where do you go to? There has to be a meeting point. There really has to be a meeting point where you have to get there to meet the people with whom you came to the event with. So if the event doesn't like provide a meeting point, which normally should be like, you know, symbolized. If they don't provide a meeting point, you could ask if they have one which you missed or if there really isn't any of that, then you and your group should decide on where to meet in case of an emergency. As a group or as a family, a group of friends or whatever, it may be, agree on a meeting point in case of an emergency so that we all know that we have to meet at that point. That is a safety measure, people. To take into consideration there was a family that kind of like all of them kind of escaped a fire but because they didn't have any consensus of where to meet after in case of an emergency uh the dad missed he didn't see one of the sons so he kind of like dashed back into the building thinking that the son was still in the building he went yeah of course what a father would normally do and what they didn't know was that the son had actually jumped out of the window the back window and they missed that. So had they known, had they seen him, he wouldn't have dashed back into the fire. And of course, the sad thing happens. The dad perished in that fire, which is really, really sad. That that's a mistake that we could, you know, with simple logistics, uh, kind of like avoid. <laughs> The simple thing I'm just trying to say is next time you get into public space, especially one that is highly populated, you know, you know what to do? Find your exit sign so that in case of anything, 
you will be rushing out there fast and good. For our own safety and for the safety of the people around us, it's just, you know, it's very simple. Where is the exit sign? And with the people with whom we are going to the event or going to enjoy the event, where shall we meet in case, you know, one never knows, in case something happens here, where do we meet, you know? So that we know everybody's sound and safe, right? So that is it, people. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this actually <laughs> it's a little bit rambling but I hope you guys learned something from it because for me I, I did I did I've never thought about that but I really learned something from this so that that would be my mantra everywhere I go I look for the safety signs mm -hmm. this girl gonna get out quick and fast yeah you should too I think I'll need a blanket today it's a little bit cold I have books that I have to go through just trying to relax, just trying to relax, oh my gosh. It's not as cold as when you're you guys, seriously. I've got this thing that I just kind of like feel cold. I just feel like because it's not my bed, so I need some hours to like, to adapt. If you enjoyed watching the vlog, please don't forget to subscribe, okay? I just took my shower. It's about 10 p.m. right now. I'm going to study a little bit and then I go to bed. Yeah, this is my dinner. Blue moon, nuts, apple. Good. So, peeps, um, if we don't have the chance to chat again today, I hope you guys have a, a pleasant evening yourselves. Okay? I feel as if I'm wrapped in a cocoon right now. <laughs> as I told you guys before, it felt a little bit chilly. If I have to sit here for some time, then I'll need to be a little bit warm. I just asked for a duvet and I had it. They are so kind. Edit Hotel. Whoop whoop. Thank you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I slept really well. Mm -hmm. Hope I'm getting everything on camera, peeps. So yeah, um, I had a good night's sleep after I did my studies. I studied a little bit and I was a little bit tired. I thought I was a superwoman actually, but I, I fell off. I slept, I slept like an hour into when I started studying. An hour into studies, I started sleeping. So I had to go to bed early. So, yeah, so uh, right now, the quick one, I'm rushing down to have breakfast. Just to show you guys what I have this morning. I have this sweater that is from, this sweater is from Only, okay? I love it very much. It's not too thick, just, you know, kind of like light enough. Mm -hmm. and, and my trousers are Noisy May. This was, as you can see, these are, oh shit, the toilet peeps. So, these trousers are from Noisy May. I really love Noisy May. Mm. Noisy May is like one of my favorite brands to go to for you know casual trousers. My shoes are from um, where did I buy these shoes actually? My shoes are a pair of portable ballerines, you know, like you can just fold them and put them in your small handbag. They are from Kebble. I love them so much. I mean, these I never go anywhere without them, and nobody will ever know I'm carrying shoes with me actually. So now I have to go. I have to rush down for breakfast. I think I look good. I don't want to get down there and, you know, all those stuck on people that print up and then you will not be like, you know, we from Omeo also, we, you know, <laughs> from Omeo we also take care of our look. I'm trying to defend the Omeo people here. Uh, yeah, so, good. I think I look okay. And my naturally protection is from Clavins. I got this protective set that is so cool. It just keeps your lips really, really natural. It's from Clarins. I hope you guys can see. Yeah, here. This is a color five. And what I'm wearing right now is a color six. There. So, yeah. That's it. And done. Mm -mm -mm -mm. See you. And this is the view I have in front of the hotel. Just have this road and a little park just out there. It's kind of cool, right? So. Not cocktails. Please use your door key. This is good. 
dope. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, yes. Where can one have trays? Trays, it's over there. Behind oh. the forks and knives. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, ska vi sätta igång nu men här? Ja, det Ja, välkomna tillbaka allihopa. Efter den. Tyvärr är det så här att eh, tekniken eh, är inte på min sida idag. Mm -hmm. eh, och det är så att det är en HDMI och den är inte kopplad till HDMI. När den kommer kopplar jag bilden, ljudet har ingen stöd. Mm. Och kopplar jag ljudet då har jag ingen stöd för bild. Då får jag mima när jag har visar filmerna att ni får fatta hur det är ljudet. <laughs> Eller det kommer att vara ett väldigt litet ljud. Eh, som sagt, jag jobbar i en organisation som heter Riksteatern. Som är, eh, jag kommer att göra eh, min presentation i två delar. Den första delen är väldigt kort. Vad är Riksteatern? Okay, babe. So I just checked out of my room here in a little hotel. And my room was room two one six. So and I'm going down to check out at the reception. So it was a nice day here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going back to Umia. And uh, yeah. So, so, uh, check it, uh, two and six. Two and six? Yes. Can you learn it? Yes, there you are. Mm. That's the next one. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to go check out where this guy is. <laughs> yes, it's filming. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like for a small vlog that I have. Oh my god. Have you a YouTube vlog? Yeah, they need a YouTube channel. Oh, sure. Hi. Yeah. It's so oh easy. <laughs> Are we famous now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of like hook it up like, oops. Why don't you come out? Why don't just put Anginans. Anginans. It's a lifestyle channel. Yeah, it's kind of a lifestyle, like everything about my daily life. And yeah, I just recount everything that kind of interests me and stuff like that. Mm. So I'm assuming that you don't live in Stockholm? Or no, I live in Umeå. You are from Umeå? From Umeå, yeah. yeah. So I am a 
at Landa and I'm about to onboard the plane back to Umeo guys. So yeah. So people, if you enjoy watching the vlog, please please don't forget to subscribe. Help your girl here yeah, people. Help your girl. She needs some subscribers, okay? I'm just trying to grow in this thing. <laughs> I'll be very very grateful if you do. I hope to see you in the next vlog. Until then, be good.